Tonight, beavers at the Tidal Basin. Yes, beavers. They're cute, sure, but not so much when they're smacking and snacking on some of America's most iconic trees are cherry blossoms. David Kaplan live at the Tidal Basin for us. Uh, David, these beavers are not playing. I mean, they're here to, to take what they want. <laughs> they really are. Fortunately, though, they are not taking down the trees themselves. The National Park Service is not working to trap any of these beavers, but just maybe do something to protect the trees. Take a look. I know it's dark. We're giving you a live look at one of these trees right now. At the bottom, you can see that the bark has essentially been gnawed off, as is the case with about 12 to 18 trees. The Park Service making it very clear there's no big widespread threat to these iconic trees. They're saying that it's beavers that are no, you're joking, right? I'm dead serious. <laughs> they need to have uh, some protection to surround the trees over there. So some thoughts from people at the Tidal Basin today. What's going on here? Well, the Park Service gave some insights, but I spoke to an expert as well. Here's the way she said to think about it. The Potomac and Anacostia Rivers are interstates, and the Tidal Basin makes a good rest stop for beavers for nutrients, which is the bark of the cherry blossoms. That's what they provide, nutrition for the beavers. But the bark protects trees. So arborists with the Park Service are keeping an eye on any further activity and planning some contingencies to protect the trees. Take a listen. We don't want to remove the beaver. The beaver is just doing what it does naturally, but we can influence it by maybe making the, the trees a little less attractive or a little harder to get to. All right, I know it's dark, but I want to give you some additional context. You're looking right now at the water that has sort of breached the seawall that was here and come up to the tree line itself. The National Park Service tells me we've had activity from beavers before, and that is part of the reason why. This is the lowest point where the seawall is, so essentially it is easy access as well. All of the trees impacted are at this lowest point of the seawall, behind me. Now, the National Park Service is making plans to fix that starting next year with some construction that is going to take place. So that's the skinny on the beavers right now here at the Tidal Basin. Back to you guys.